Hey guys, okay, so I've been thinking about this subject a lot lately, not a ton, it's not like the only thing that's on my mind, but um, pretty much it's food and dieting. Um, my friend, um, who's one of my closest friends, she just went on a diet, um, a more intense diet, and it made me begin to think about certain things with my own diet because I've always kind of felt like I've been able to eat whatever I want um, because I used to run um, I would say 40 to 60 miles a week and that's a lot so when you're running a ton you can pretty much eat whatever you want but you still have to eat healthy or else your body won't like allow you to run that much but um I was just thinking about her diet and how I want to change my own diet and how I can help other people because my friend um, just recently I am uh, text messaged me like four days ago or something and she was like I went to the doctor's today to get blood drawn and I ended up passing out and I was like are you freaked out by needles and she's like sort of but not that bad and I was like well have you been eating normally lately she's like no I haven't been eating like anything because I'm super self-conscious I feel like I'm so fat so I just haven't been eating anything lately and I'm like, okay, that's a really terrible way to diet because if you crash diet, then you'll just get either really starving, so you'll lose um, weight, but then you'll gain it all back. And a lot of times, your body, what happens when you lose weight from crash dieting, when you gain it back, you'll gain a lot of the weight back in water weight, and it'll fill up the like the fat um, the fat cells in your body, so it'll actually make your body puff up more than if you had just dieted normally to lose the weight. It takes a little bit longer with normal normal dieting and exercise than a crash diet, but still, it's not that good. Or the alternative could have been that she could have gotten extremely sick and lost so much weight that she became like super unhealthy, like anorexic, you know, which isn't good either. Because when you lose that weight, you don't look good. You look just thin and frail and your skin sags. You know, you have to exercise and tone, and I've learned that those are the two most important things. With my knee, unfortunately, I can't do all the exercise that I want to do, but I've been remaining as healthy as I can since my surgery because I don't want to gain a bunch of weight, you know, um, because I can't exercise. Because I know that that is a very good possibility with what has happened, but I've only gained, I think, one or two pounds um, from what my average is, because my average usually was between a five to six weight, pound weight, um, ratio, but I noticed that that average weight ratio went up about a pound on average, maybe two, three pounds, so I really feel like I haven't gained that much weight, but I feel like my body's changed and I've lost a lot of my muscle, but I'm slowly gaining that back with physical therapy and everything, so... Tonight, I made a huge um, change in my lifestyle, I guess, with my eating, because usually I would eat dinner, and then I'll have cereal after, or a snack, or something, and then I'll go into the pantry really late at night. It's 1.35 right now-ish, and I would usually go and get more snacks, but I decided that now I am not going to eat any food after 11, no matter how late I stay up. Um, because I just think that if you have a time limit, then you'll really cut out a lot of the extra calories from your day that you don't need. Um, I personally feel like I eat my worst calories after 11 o'clock because I'll end up making cookies and eating the cookies or, you know, just going in and vegging out on chips or everything, you know. And tonight, rather than having cookies or cake or brownies or something for dessert, I had a nectarine, um, which was actually really delicious, and I had um, Korean barbecue soup for dinner. It was really good, um, but basically just making little changes like that is what will make a difference in your life, and I notice um, a lot of people, when they do go on diets and you ask them, oh, how'd you lose the weight? They'll say, you know, I just made little changes. I just stopped eating before a certain time or, you know, I just changed one thing to another. I, instead of having 
you know, potato chips, I had carrot sticks, just small changes like that really make a difference. Um, and I've noticed that for me, um, cause when I first had my surgery, I was, I noticed that I was eating whatever I really wanted at all times because I felt terrible and I was just like, you know, I, I just want to eat what I want to eat because I feel like crap after this, after this, um, operation and that basically was okay but you know I was noticing that I was having a lot more fat on my stomach and um, since I've changed and since I've been eating better over the last week and a half or so I, I feel better like I don't feel like I'm as winded I feel like that you know overall healthier and um one thing that I said I was going to do before was the french fry thing, and um, I caved in and had some fries um, like two weeks ago, but that was okay because I said no fries at all until n next year, but um, I'm going to keep the french fry intake as minimal as possible. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that there was um, some sort of thing that you got from it. If you have any dieting tips, simple dieting tips for me, leave them below. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was just something that I wanted to talk about. Bye.